Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Fulo with another video. Shout out to the LGBT. Um, so, again, not a surprise. Um, looks like Sean Porter and Keith Thurman are doing what they can to dance with each other as much as possible rather than dance with the guy who's been asking for the dance and that guy being Earl King. And so, he says that uh, Sean Porter is uh, in negotiations for a fight between uh, him and Keith Thurman in uh, 2019. Uh, at, at the time though, however, he's saying that uh, Waiting on how soon the fight will be announced, or if the fight with uh, Thurman will actually happen. Um, now, this is interesting for the simple fact that Keith Thurman has been out for so long, and I would be very surprised if Keith Thurman actually took. A Sean Porter fight before a tune up, you know. This would be this would be odd, basically. But again, we're using the Mando piece for uh, Sean Porter's ducking, and he's saying that his mandatory is Keith Thurman. Uh, my thing is this, like, unification is usually Trump mandos. So, if you were really about that life, you would say, okay, as soon as Earl Smith takes care of Michael Garcia, we can unify. But again, we're seeing all the just the foolery and boxing take place and you know we keep on doing the same videos over and over again with nothing new because none of these fighters is showing us anything new they're just showing us like just different ways to be cowards that's all they're showing you know um And this, this is, this is, um, very bad because it's just, it's just like us, the fans suffer for it. You know, I'm not saying that it wouldn't be a good fight between him and, um, Thurman. What I am saying is. You have a ready-made guy who's asking for the smoke, yet you're you're still doing what you can to take the easiest way out for a guy who's been inactive for almost two years. He goes on to say about uh, Keith Thurman, he wants to fight. I know for a while he said he wanted a comeback fight, and now he's saying he wants to fight me and accept the mandatory challenge, Porter said. Um, for me, it's just, you know, um, I, I, I'm, I don't know if I will even watch this if it does happen. They're saying that, um, they're saying that also um, Thurman may take a, um, a tuna fight with old, say, Cito Lopez, but I don't know if that's going to take place either. That's the thing, like, why, why bank, bank your, your activity on a guy who may not even come back, you know? Instead of fight a guy who's who's ready to go, 
who's good to go, who's went to the ring and has challenged you to fight. You know, don't turn down the fame. You know, back in the day, fighters didn't turn down fame. Like very, very few of them did, at least. Not as much as they're doing now. And it's really a strange move by the World Boxing Council that they ordered this fight anyway. You know, like, why would you order a fight when a guy hasn't fought for, like, two years? You know? I mean, Thurman's not even rated in the top 15 by the WBC. And, I mean, this... this Um, and then, you know, again, more ducking. Porter said, the best thing I can do is wait for it, get ready for confirmation on that fight, then get working and get ready for it. For it. In my opinion, the best thing Porter can do is face Earl Spence and Unify. You know? I mean, it's really, I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I mean, what can you really say at this, this foolery? You can't say anything really. I mean, this is my thing. Why get a belt? If you're not going to try to collect other belts, that's my thing. Like, why be in a division if you're not going to fight everybody at that division? Why be in a division that that you know after the fight because hard opposition is coming up? You're going to try to use the Mando excuse or you're going to try to vacate I hate to use the example, but, you know, Canelo is one of the examples. I mean, he wins the belt against uh, Triple G. His mandatory is obviously a guy more athletically inclined than him. So what does he do? He moves up to 168 to fight a guy who's... Uh, with two left feet who's just gonna stand in front of him and use his head as uh, defense, basically. I mean, this, I, I mean, all I can say is as much as I respect Floyd Mayweather's boxing ability, as much as I respect him as a, a fighter, his celebrity status has gotten into a lot of boxers and they want to keep this they want to keep they don't want to lose that's the bottom line no matter what even if it means facing lesser opposition to keep from losing they will do that i mean legacy does not matter anymore for a lot of these guys I understand that you have to like take as little damage as possible and take care of your uh, and make enough money to take care of your kids and your family but something has to give and you know the elephant is in the room that you're gonna have to fight the best that's just it If, if you don't fight the best, you're just going to be looked at like as a guy who was just holding a belt. You're not going to be looked at as like a champion. And so this is why I'm saying that I can't really like find the will to support this kind of stuff. I mean, as much as I love boxing and whatnot, 
I it's just it's just giving too much, you know, to tolerate such things. And so that's why I'm you know still going to make boxing videos, still going to do that, still going to cover the sport. But you know, like don't be surprised if like you see like five videos on soccer before you see uh, another video on boxing because you know unlike boxing there's no hiding soccer teams that the best play have to pe play the best there's no other way around it you know you can't escape that's just it so again Sean Porter Ducking. To be honest, I would even I, I would even respect Sean Porter if he decided he wanted to unify with Terrence Crawford. I, I, I would even rather see that fight than see this fight. And I to be honest, I don't even think it's gonna happen. I don't even really, really think Keith Thurman is coming back. I would be very surprised. I mean, I've seen clips of him, like, training in the gym and stuff like that, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's just doing it to stay in shape. But that's all I got for now. Leave your comments. Let me know if you think this fight's going to happen. And I'm off until the next one. Ninja out, Robert.